So we're joined by Reggae Boys defender Tavon Gray. Tavon, firstly, welcome to camp. It's great to have you. How does it feel being with the, the lads in camp? Oh, great to be here. Um, it's a good experience, you know. I uh, haven't been around like new players in a long time. It's good to experience how everybody plays and stuff like that. Coming from different places all over Europe, or wherever, here, or yeah, in the States. So yeah, it's been good. And tell us a little bit about your background so the fans can get to know you a little bit better. Uh, born in the Bronx, correct? Yeah, born, in, born and raised in the Bronx. Um, my dad was born in uh, Portmore and uh, my mom is uh, from St. Elizabeth. So, yeah. So it's fair to say you grew up with a Jamaican culture in the for States? Sure. 100%, 100%. So like the food, the music, culture, everything? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And do you get to visit from time to time, you know, like holidays from school and so on? Yeah, yeah, I'm probably... I come to Jamaica a lot, I'm probably out here like every Christmas, you know, yeah, I think market night is my, is the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, when you were growing up, we, we saw that you spent some time in England. What was that experience like for you as well, and having trials at different clubs and all of that? Yeah, that was good. Uh, I think it's good to like get exposure outside of your comfort zone, you know, it's like just to help you see what's out there. Don't make you think like, oh, I can't do this level or whatever. Just give you a better feel of it. I think it was good for him. Growing up, were you always a defender or you played other positions as well? No, I was always a defender. Always a defender. I'm a twin, so my brother played striker. Uh, so I always went up against him, really. It was just, yeah, I, had, I couldn't go nowhere else. Because we were always competing. So once he's striker, I couldn't go striker too. You know, I just had to compete with him, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. And tell us that story about, you know, when you got the phone call or email from the coaching staff to be involved within the program. Um, yeah, I think that was a good uh, feeling for me and my family. Um, we obviously sat down and spoke about it. Everyone knows like, I played for U.S. before this. Um, but yeah, I think Jamaica just gave me the opportunity to showcase myself, showcase my talent to the world, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, and I'm sure you saw how the team did at the Gold Cup. How, how do you think the team played at the tournament? Uh, I think they played good. I think, I think they played good. I think, I think USA got slipped away, skin in their teeth still, but... They did good, they did good. I think that, that game was my favorite game for sure. I thought we should have won though, you know, but we'll get them next time, no worries. Yeah, and growing up when you were a kid, or even now, was there a reggae boy or, you know, past or present that you looked up to, that you said, you know, I admire his style of play or, you know, that's a, a player I look up to? Uh, I guess I look at the baby, for sure. Uh, I've been around him a little bit, uh, just coming to Jamaica and uh, playing pickup and stuff like that in the past. So, yeah, I think he's a good role model to have. Yeah, and playing, you know, in the MLS, playing with New York, how has it been for, for you playing not only professional football, but playing like in the city where you were raised? Oh yeah, that's, I always get asked this question. That one is like a no-brain. I think that's the best feeling in the world, going back and playing with your hometown or growing up and playing with your hometown team. I think that's no better feeling. Your family coming out to watch you every weekend. So, yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure you've seen and also heard as well what it's like playing at the National Stadium, the crowd, the vibes, the entertainment. <laughs> I'm sure you're looking forward to these two games. Most definitely, most definitely. I've never been on the stadium, like I've never been on the field. I've been to the stadium, but I've never played on the field, so definitely looking forward to that. All right, and, and finally as well, Tavon, you know, what would be your, your message to Jamaican fans all across the globe? Well, let's go out with the field, you know? We're going to do it, don't worry.